I'm Martha Maurer with KTAR News and KTAR.com. There is one place in Arizona that has helped produce thousands of guitars and guitar makers for more than four decades, and it's right here in the valley. The Roberto Venn School of Luthier, right in the heart of Phoenix, a little part of guitar history in our backyard. Some traditional, some one-of-a-kind guitars, both acoustic and electric, hang on the walls of Roberto Venn, a guitar building and repair school right on Grand and 10th Avenues in Phoenix. Will Eaton is the school's director. He's been making unique guitars and multi-stringed instruments since 1971 and has been with Roberto Venn since it was founded in 1975. This piece of wood tells the story of our school. One of the founders of the school, John Roberts, had a dream to build a yacht. This is a piece of root mahogany. And if you notice the visual of this, if I could turn it 90 degrees, you'd see the outline of the root of a tree. That wood was shipped to Phoenix from Nicaragua, but friends convinced him, make guitars out of it instead. John wanted to create a boat, and what he did was create a vessel that all of us have found a lifestyle in this big arc, so to speak, where we've all enjoyed a lifestyle of making guitars. Eaton was Robert's apprentice. A few years later, while at Stanford, he wrote a business plan for a guitar-making school. That plan became the Roberto Venn School of Luthieri. So these are the things that you may think to yourself, oh yeah, 24 fret guitar, that would be fantastic. Students from all over the world come to this five-week course. The school is accredited. Students don't just attend because they like guitars. During the course, they make two instruments, an acoustic and an electric guitar. The school is their one-on-one. And what we want to do is help them find a job with somebody. When they find a job with a large guitar manufacturer to a small custom building company uh, or as an apprentice to another builder, that's when they can improve their chops. They can become more knowledgeable about other guitar making processes because there are many, uh, but a lot of common ground. Over the past 42 years, more than 2,000 graduates of the school have branched out into the world of guitar making and repair, many setting up shop and becoming some of the best in their field. And it's not only locals who've heard of the school in the valley and choose to attend. Students from every continent except Antarctica have attended and of all different walks of life from ages 18 to their 60s. This fall, there are students from across the U.S., Japan, and England. In the last few years, I've sort of realized that I wanted something like a career based in music somehow and then the idea um, of like being a guitar repairer came about um, so I started looking into that um, and then realised that I really wanted to go into a guitar building um, so I realised that this course would be perfect. Jack Ward heard about Roberto Venn from a friend back home in England who attended the school. His friend now has his own shop. Ward has been inspired since he was a boy by some of the greatest guitar players. Unfortunately, a lot of like the guitarists that I listen to are all from like the 60s and 70s, so they're not particularly around anymore. But there's a few more modern guys. Um, there's that like, guy J.D. Simo, Joe Bonamassa. I think it'd be cool to, you know, see them using one of my guitars. You know, in the future, that'd be that'd be awesome. Jill Marsh is from Colorado, and like Jack, she has a passion for guitars and big plans for her future. So far, it's right on track. Once I complete the course, I'm probably going to start working for either a guitar making company or a guitar repair company. Um, maybe just a small shop, uh, if I'm lucky, Fender Gibson. The Roberto Venn School of Luthier not only provides a comprehensive course on guitar making and repair, they also offer smaller courses such as tool seminars and electronics classes. But the next big course begins in February. You can find all those details on our website. I'm Martha Maurer with KTAR News and KTAR.com.